Jackson County Schools held the first annual State of Education in Scottsboro today. It's the local education leaders reflected on the impact of the pandemic and how schools can overcome COVID related challenges in the classroom. New Suntine's Kayla Smith has details. After so many months of virtual and hybrid learning, Jackson County and Scottsboro educators are prioritizing in person instruction moving forward. We don't want to have to uh, provide out of, out of school suspensions for students. We do have that as an option. We have in school suspension, uh, but, but we also know that academics must place precedence and we need strategies to help us try to keep kids in the classroom as much as possible. Educators say students, especially elementary age students, are facing social and emotional challenges after spending nearly two years outside of the classroom. They didn't know what the opportunity was to be able to eat in a lunchroom. Some kindergartners now are third graders. They did not get the regular pathway to, to develop those social and emotional and skills that most of us take for granted. Though the superintendents of Jackson County and Scottsboro City Schools say they anticipate seeing this year's standardized test scores drop in the wake of the pandemic, the schools have persisted in career and college preparedness. Jackson County Superintendent Jason Davidson says he hopes to encourage workforce development in the district's youngest students. Davidson is new to the job, appointed just last month after the death of Superintendent Kevin Dukes. Workforce development begins with pre k Davidson says the district wants to give students options for the future, and for some students, that's not a traditional four-year college program. Instead, Jackson County Schools is creating partnerships with local businesses and the community to provide career and technical skills. We have to continue to level our students up. We have to give them skills along the way. As early and often as they can get something that they show credibility that they can do something, like a certification that says I'm a certified welder or I'm a certified nurse. They'll never take that skill away. Jackson County School Superintendent says he hopes to host a state of education meeting in the county each year.